Hello everyone, my name is Fletch and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Mavic or the DJI Mavic Mini. Now this uh, is going to be uh, a kind of a review. I'm going to start, I'm actually heading off towards uh, Tanjong Ru for this particular um, review and uh, once I get there I'm going to fly the drone and uh, take some footage uh, show you how, what it is like uh, process or unprocess and then after that uh, I'll do my review after. So stick around after the uh, montage that we will be able to then um, go through my thoughts and feelings about uh, the Mavic or the DJI Mavic Mini. Folks, uh, I'm back from flying my drone. Um, before we get into my impressions, let's talk about um, the specs, right, first. Uh, this is probably one of the lightest drones out there, the DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, basically, it is about 240 grams. Uh, I think it's lighter. It's the lightest so-called almost professional drone because uh, the others like the Ristello and the like are basically toys, yeah? So this one still has professional controls, it has GPS and so forth. Um, it is also shooting at about 2.5, 2.7K, uh, uh, which is not really 4K, but it's still pretty good. It's, it's high definition, but not the full on high definition. Um, it also has uh, different frame rates. Uh, you can do uh, 2.7K, you can also do uh, one, uh, 180p as well uh, and of course the various 25 30 60 and so forth i'll list uh, right over here uh, the various uh, specs uh, so that you can actually see the actual specs rather than i guess at it because uh, I, I don't have it in, in, in memory so uh, this particular drone is probably the lightest drone there is um you know and 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 this is something i found out firsthand um i'm not a uh, 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 so-called experienced pilot just like the rest I don't have a particular pilot's license or what have you but um, I have logged several hours under my belt flying uh, the Spark uh, the Mavic Pro the Mavic uh, Pro Zoom and I realized that this little thing uh, has its weaknesses it's not something that you can do with the other drones 
Yeah, the problem with, uh, well, not a problem, but I think the thing that you have to be aware of that because it's light and the motors aren't that strong, uh, you have to take into account several things. Number one, the wind. Uh, number two, uh, because I think the, the, they may call it the enhanced Wi-Fi, but I still find that um, when I used to fly the Spark at that particular place at Tanjung Ru, uh, I could actually go much further. I found that uh, when I hit to a certain point, I actually lost signal, but okay, I, I should be going further out and closer into line of sight rather than just let it fly over the trees and so forth. But still, I could do it with the Spark, I couldn't do it with this. So we have to be mindful of all this. So to me, what would this be good for? This would be good for close quarter uh, videos. Uh, you want to take sceneries, you have to take into account the wind. Yeah.